Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com, and I'm bringing you a very special breakdown of the NBA Western Conference Finals. We have two uh, terrific teams. On, on, on this side, you have the Houston Rockets, who had a pretty good game against the Clippers and closed out that series and came back from 3-1 to defeat the Los Angeles Clippers. And now you have the Golden State Warriors, who won a very tough series against the Memphis Grizzlies. Now we're here. Now you're mano y mano. You have one versus two. You have the number one uh, ranked MVP, which is Steph Curry, who got the votes, and you had a number two runner-up in James Harden that came in uh, second for the MVP uh, race as far as that goes. Now, in my opinion, it was, they got it wrong. Steph Curry is not the NBA MVP, but James Harden really is the NBA MVP, and you saw why in this playoff series. Fear the beard. When you're looking at just the basics of these teams, James Harden carried, for the most part, uh, throughout the whole season, he carried the Houston Rockets without Dwight Howard. Yes, he had help, just as Steph Curry had help, but you got to look at uh, the, the players on both sides. On the Golden State Warriors side, you have a Draymond Green who steps up big. Who You also have a Klay Thompson who steps up big. You also have tremendous role players, just like you have uh, some for the Rockets, but it's a higher tier of role player if you're looking at the Golden State Warriors. And to even things out, you have to be fair to yourself and say, okay, when you're balancing out every single thing, the Houston Rockets had less personnel available than the Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors, for the most part, were healthy for, throughout the season. You're talking about Andrew Bogut. You're talking about Andre Iguodala. You're talking about Harrison Barnes. You're talking about the guys that really matter, that that play in and play out every single night, that that help towards this tremendous team, um, the makeups of these teams. It's going to be a very difficult series to call only because these teams are similar. They use the three ball. Um, Golden State uses a little bit more, but they use the three ball to not only equalize uh, the basketball game, but they stretch the floor. Fast break situations. Normally, you look for a two-pointer on a fast break situation. In this situation, you're looking for the three-pointer. You know, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, two of the best shooters in the NBA. Also, James Harden, who is quick to pull the trigger th um, from wherever on the floor. Now, when you're looking at the coaching, uh, you have to give the heads up to Kevin McHale, who has done a phenomenal job with the Houston Rockets. Steve Kerr inherited a great team from Mark Jackson. So, thus far, we have not seen Steve Kerr do a tremendous job of coaching, but in that last series, you saw Kevin McHale get his team by the neck and pull them through. We saw him do excellent coaching moves, whether it was hack a, um, DeAndre Jordan or uh, up-tempo, slow-tempo, and, and make the game that how uh, the Houston Rockets wanted to play that game. The X factor in the series is going to be Terrence Jones, and it's also going to be Harrison Barnes. Whoever's bench in this series is going to be huge uh, if they want to win this series because you have to look at the Houston Rockets not having a real deep bench, but if they can get production from a Terrence Jones, from a Corey Brewer, if they can get those guys off the bench and get them scoring early and get Josh Smith involved and, and, and have everybody from a certain standpoint chip in, then they're going to have the upper hand in this series. Both these teams are mirroring images of images of each other you have a few athletic bodies on each side but when it comes down to it you have to look at the three-point ball being the equalizer in this series if Steph Curry and Klay Thompson get going in this series this could be over fast uh, the Houston Rockets have the obvious mismatch with Dwight Howard versus anybody Draymond Green will not be able to stop Dwight Howard if that ball goes down in the post you have to look at Dwight Howard and he has to be licking his chops Andrew Bogut is a is a is a bust you look at what Dwight Howard can do it's going to be like Shaq said is barbecue chicken all night long. Dwight Howard, once he gets that ball in that post, he needs to punish whoever's guarding him. He needs to make sure Draymond Green gets in foul trouble because Draymond Green, I have a feeling, is going to have to stick on Dwight Howard because they don't have anybody with the girth or the size that can be able to hold up against that. I know you got Spate that can come off the bench, but he's not tall enough to stop Dwight Howard. All Dwight Howard has to do is hold the ball up, jump and dunk the ball when he gets to a certain point. So I'm looking for the Houston Rockets to not only win this series, but have an upset. I know the Houston Rockets did not win in a single game against the Golden State Warriors during the regular season. But that is exactly that, the regular season. I think that what we've seen in the last uh, series against Memphis, you showed that it was a little bit of toughness and they struggled early on with Memphis, but then they got the three ball going. Uh, I, I, I want to see the Rockets put defensive pressure on Steph Curry and also put it on Klay Thompson because I feel like at this point in time, the Rockets are hot. They're sizzling. The uh, I think they can possibly steal game one uh, if they come out with that same passion and that same fire that they did. You know that winning at Oracle Arena is very tough. They have uh, been few teams to do it this season. So 
I'm picking the Houston Rockets to win this one in a very close series. I think this series can go seven games. I think that, like I said, Harrison Barnes is an X factor, also Terrence Jones, and you could throw in a, even a wild card like a Josh Smith who could possibly get the job done. So uh, I want to know what you Houston Rockets fans think. Also, I want to hear what you Golden State Warriors uh, fans think. Check out all of our videos at JustMyPicks.com. You can get all the breaking updates, all the news updates. And as always, we thank you for viewing our video. Also, check out next week's video so we can go ahead and go through the NBA Finals preview. Thank you so very much. Hit the subscribe button and share our videos on Facebook. Thank you so very much.